Okay, so in this next video, we're going to uh, just create some more buttons, essentially, for the quiz. So at the moment, what you'll be able to see is what I've got to you at the moment. So we've got uh, this box here, and where we put our questions, and then here is the next button. But of course, we're going to want to be able to have some choices that we can pick from um, the answers, because it's multiple choice questions. So before we move on, what we'll do, we'll just um, put some labeling here, um, some comments. So image for buttons. So I want to use the same image for all the buttons. All right, and then here I'll just say next button, which will trigger um, a change of questions. Right, so after there, the buttons we're going to do, we're going to just, we're not, they're not going to have a next button, we're just going to have like four buttons for multiple choice. So you can call them like button A, B, C, D. So we'll just do one first, and then what we'll do, we'll essentially just copy it and um, use it over and over again. Okay, so uh, we'll call it button A. So dot button and then button a dot place. Okay, so button, of course, it's going to go in our window again. And here we'll just do text. At the moment, we'll just put test or something. So we'll put something in there. But obviously, later on, we will want to take that out. And then we will. Uh, I'm going to put the background image, just the same as we did up above. So image equals, um, oh, I call this next image. So I would just call this um, change it, actually. So I will do, um, just call it BTN, BTN image. Um, I'll need to then change that there, of course, as well. BTN image. Right, so it's better just to give it a sort of, a name like that because it's not really relevant to any specific button. Um, so button ing. And the next thing I'll need to do, is, of course, is the compound. It'll probably, if you did compound center, it'll work anyway on, on Windows. Right, so that's a button, uh, you know, next button made. And in the place, um, we're going to have to figure out where we're going to place these. So if I think about where I placed these previous ones, this question, for example, it was um, 0 0.1, so it was like 10% from the left of the screen. So I will do um, relative x 0 0.1, and then relative y um, above, I had 0 0.25, but it's... That's where, it's, that's where it kind of starts from, the relative height, and then the actual height is about 30% there. So um, from the very top, I'm going to maybe put 0 0.6. And then rail width, I'm going to put 0 0.35, 35%, and then rail height, 0 0.1. Right, so just run this, just to see what the button looks like. Oh, so I have got an error. Here, uh, button A is not defined. Hmm. What do I do? Uh, button, I did button A dot button, got carried away, and I forgot I need to do it like that instead with the equal sign. So when you do that, of course, you want to just make sure you line these up a little bit better. Oh, these mistakes can be made. Anyway, so button A is equal to being a button. Right, run it again. And there you go, got a button there, and it says test inside it. Okay, so I just want to do four more of these buttons. Um, I'll take out the test. I'll take out this whole line, in fact. Text equals test, because I don't really need it for the moment. What we'll do is that when we run 
um, the program will actually put text in there later. So whenever we actually program the rest of this, where questions will appear, the next is fine. We can leave next, of course, but here this will be the possible answer for a question. Okay, so that's button A. I'm literally going to copy it. So do the best way to copy, if you are copying a bit of code, is select from the right hand side, select all of it like that, control C, and then when you go underneath, um, you, do, you do a couple of lines underneath the spaces, but then I'm going to go back to here because I've copied it all the way to there, to this line. So when I paste it, you can see it's gone straight in, indented in, because this is all part of, of course, my GUI. And I'm just going to change a few bits and pieces. So here, there's button A, button A.place. This is button B, and button B dot place. Now, the place for button B is obviously going to change. So I'm going to do the relative X, 55%. Um, the relative height is going to stay the same. That's going to stay the same. That's going to stay the same. Okay, so it's just the, the X position of that button. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so there it is, A and B. All right, so that's button A, that's button B. And now we can even just copy all four bits of code here, so button A and button B. And so did I do that right? All the way to there, Control C. Couple of lines and backspace, so I'm cursor right here, paste, and there I've got it again. Right, so just make sure I'm getting this right. So there's button A, button B, and the last two ones, right? So button C and button D, like that. Okay, now button C is going to go underneath button A. So I'm going to do relative y, it's going to change the relative um, x is going to stay the same because it's going to go under a, button a, so this will be, I'll do 80% from the top and the rest stays the same. And then here, this will be also 80% because it's from the top but, and then 55. Right, so that's it. And run the module. And there we go. We've got four buttons and these would be able to be clicked on. It looks uh, doesn't look the best necessarily at the minute. What we can do afterwards is start thinking about other things like a background image because at the minute this is green but maybe we want to put in something like a background image after and that is almost all we need um, just nice in terms of the, the way it looks we just need to then start to program it so that when you run the program a question appears and you get your possible answers and you can actually start playing the game